here's the question that came up with the community. It's, it's kind of a common question is um, if I have an object, how do I keep it on top? So in this case, we've got these buttons here. Let's go ahead and preview this. We have these buttons and they link to different slides. So these buttons are on the base layer um, and they actually link to layers. So when I click on this, um, I'm on layer one, but now you can see the buttons because they're on the base layer, they're on the bottom and layer one's on top. So I can't see what the hover information shows. So if I click here, you know, it's the same thing. I click through the layers and I can't see the hover information. So we need to figure out how do I keep these buttons on top so that I can always see what the hover information is. And this is, uh, even though you may not work with buttons, this idea of trying to keep objects on top is kind of a common thing. So it's good to know how to do this. And again, like all tutorials, there's probably 20 ways to do it. So this is just one way. Uh, what we want to do is figure out, well, how do we get the base layer objects to be on top of these layers? Well, you can't make base layer objects on top of layers. Uh, so what some people generally do in something simple like this, where you've only got three layers, they may copy the buttons and then paste them on all the layers. Uh, that probably works okay. It's fast enough to do. Uh, the challenge though is you've got all those extra objects and if you want to change the buttons you've got to go and change that on all the slide on the, all the different layers. So we're going to come up with a way you only have buttons once. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a top layer. Let's just create a new layer. Let's call this one top. And then um, what we're going to do now is take these buttons here, control X, and let's put the buttons on the top layer. So now uh, we have all the buttons on a the layer. There's nothing on the base layer. What we want to do is have that base layer load up so the slide opens up and we want that top layer to show. So let's just create a trigger. What do I want to do? I want to show layer, the top layer, and when do I want to show it? When the timeline of the slide starts. We hit OK. Now if we preview this, you can see for the end user, they don't even notice the difference. Now when I click on this, it's going to go to the layer, but now the top layer is missing, right? So I can't use the button. So how do I get in and out of that? So what we need to do is make that top layer uh, visible and make it persistent, right? So when you click on a layer, so the top layer, for example, go down here to the properties for that. So let's click on properties. That's going to open up your slide properties or slide layer properties. You'll notice the default is to hide the slide layers. We're just going to disengage that. And we need to do that on the slide layers too because at the slide layer uh, we want more than one layer to show. So on this one you can click the properties or you can double click in here and that'll open up the properties as well. So we're going to go ahead keep this window open. Let's click on the other two and I don't need to close the window. So there are a couple bonus tips in there. All right. So let's close that out. So now what should happen is when I preview the slide I'm going to click and this layer is visible, but what happens is we have the same issue. And the reason we have that is because the new layer is opening up on top of the old layer. So top layer might be on top when I first launch, but when I click a button, the new, this layer one is on top of the top layer. So we need to do the same thing at the slide layer level is we need to add a trigger in here. What do I want to do? I want to show top layer when the timeline of this starts. And you can uh, copy. Let's see if we can copy this and we'll take it here. We'll paste it. We want to show uh, this looks like it's all going to work. We don't have to make any adjustments. So what should happen now is the things are all visible. When I click, it's always on top. Now there is a little nuance to this. I'm on layer one. I click, I go to layer two, so everything works fine. Go to layer three, everything works fine, right? But what if I'm on layer one and I click, oops, now you can see this is what happens, right? Um, I already clicked and the layers are underneath there, so I need to fix this. And there's a reason why that happened, and that's because uh, when I click, I'm in a layer. Let's preview this again. When I'm in layer one, this is on top. It's already showing this. So if I click on here, it actually sends this to the back because this is already showing. So it doesn't need to show that. Uh, so we're going to 
create like a little fake redirect and that should fix uh, some of that type of stuff, right? So you can see uh, how that happened. So instead of linking to the layers, we're going to create empty layers. So we're actually kind of going in and out of the layers and then that kind of resets everything. So we'll create a new layer and we're going to call this uh, redirect one. All right. So what we're going to do here is on the top layer, we're actually not going to link to layer one. We're going to link to redirect one. And so when I click on the button, it's actually not going to the layer. It's just going to redirect one. Now on redirect one, we're just going to redirect that to show layer one. So that fixes that issue of the stuff being on the bottom. So let's go ahead and preview this. So I click on layer one. When I click, see it's I'm not having to worry about this ending up underneath. And the reason is when I click this, this is actually going to redirect layer one and it's immediately coming back to layer one. So uh, you're not getting that uh, underneath issue. So hopefully uh, you can use this. Uh, it's, it's a couple of neat tips in there. One is about uh, moving objects to the top using that trigger to keep the objects on the top. Uh, making sure that the layers uh, allow other layers to peek through and then kind of tricking it with this redirect layer. You know, you can have a layer that doesn't have to have any content in it, but it can have triggers in there that uh, are ways to reset other slides or do looping or do whatever you want to do with those. So uh, good tips in there. Hopefully you can use them.